find the real value of x. 2 raised to power s plus 8 raised to power s is equal to 68. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the real value of x from this given equation. 2 raised to power x plus 8 raised to power s is equal to 68. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation. 2 raised to power s plus 8 raised to power s is equal to 68. Then we have 2 raised to power s plus 2 raised to power 3 raised to power s is equal to 68. Now remember if you have a raised to power n raised to power m is same thing as a raised to power m raised to power n then this 2 raised to power 3 will now be rewrite in another form. We have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power s raised to power 3 is equal to 68. Then we have 2 raised to power x plus 2 raised to power s raised to power 3 minus 68 is equal to 0. Let 2 raised to power s is equal to t. Then we have t plus t raised to power 3 minus 68 is equal to 0. Now remember 68 is the same thing as 17 times 4. Let's rewrite this equation. We have t raised to power 3 plus t minus 68 is equal to what? 0. And we know that 68 is equal to 70 times 4. Where 70 is the largest value. Then, in order to get the value of t here, because, of, because the coefficient of t here is 1, then we need to write this as minus 16 plus 17 will give you what? 1. And we know that 17 multiplied by 4 is equal to what? 68. Then our equation become t raised to power 3 minus 16 t plus 17 t minus 68 is equal to 0. T, let's factor t out. We have t into t square minus 16 plus 17 into t minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we have t here, and this is 16. We can rewrite it as t into t square minus 4 square plus 70 into t minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this is t square and 4 square. So, remember, if you have a square minus b square is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b, then our equation become t into t plus 4 multiplied by t minus 4 plus 70 into t minus 4 is equal to 0. Now something is common. We have t minus 4 here and we have t minus 4 here. Then we can bring it out. We have t minus 4 into t, then multiply by, we have t plus 4 plus 17 
is equal to zero. Now we have t minus four, then multiply by t times t, that is t squared plus t times four, 40 plus 70 is equal to zero. Here we have two cases, t minus four and t squared plus 40 plus 17 is equal to zero. We have t minus four is equal to zero. Then therefore, t is equal to four. That is the fourth value of t. Then also we have t squared plus 40 plus 70 is equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula is s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 17. Then we have discriminant to be equal to what? b square minus 4ac. Therefore, we, have, we know our b to be what? 4. Then we have 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 17. Then 4 square is 16. Then minus 4 times 1 times 17. That is 68. Therefore, we have discriminants to be equal to 60, 16 minus 68. That is minus 52, which is less than 0. Then we reject this. And the only real solution that we have is t is equal to what? 4. And remember that we said 2 raised to power s is equal to t. And we know our t to be equal to 4. Then we have 2 raised to power s is equal to 4. Now, if 2 raised to power s is equal to 4, then we have 2 raised to power s is equal to 4 is same thing as 2 square. They have the same base. This one will cancel this. Then s is equal to what? 2. Then we know the value of x, which is equal to 2. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. Now, in order to check, We have the given equation 2 raised to power s plus 8 raised to power s is equal to 68 at s is equal to what 2. Now we have 2 raised to power 2 plus 8 raised to power 2 must be equal to what 68. Now 2 raised to power 2 is the same thing as 2 square, which is equal to 4, plus 8 square is what? 64. Must be equal to what? 68. Now, we have 4 plus 64 is equal to what? 68. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. That is 68 is equal to 68 which satisfy the given equation at s is equal to 2. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.